Hey there, Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers. How y'all doing? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? Okay, so almost finished here with um, this cusp series. I really like this. I think I do want to continue doing it more. Um, keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the month of March doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. In those terms, if you are a cross watcher watching for the Capricorn Aquarius Cusper here and you hear me speaking to them, which naturally I'm going to be doing, but what I'm saying resonates with your end of the story, then take it as it resonates, okay? But please do not try and put something or fit something into something that does not naturally go, okay? Excellent. Um, so we're just looking at the general energy right now. This is, the, um, this is the first time I'm doing this type of reading for the cuspers, so I'm just feeling it out. We're not looking into love specifically, even though with the last two readings that I just did, love came out anyway. But this is whatever general messages spirit has for you guys at this time, yeah? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so if you are questioning, you would be a Capricorn Aquarius cusper if you were born between January 16th and the 22nd, yes? So, with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, cool. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorn Aquarius cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get started here. So I'm gonna give this three shuffles for you guys. For my Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers, what are the messages for you right now for the month of March 2020? Capricorn Aquarius. Capricorn Aquarius. Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers. Let's see, what have we got for you guys? Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers. What messages do we have for you guys this month? Capricorn Aquarius. Woo, okay. Ooh. Ooh, door to romance is popping out. I told you guys, I'm not specifically trying to talk about love, but it seems to be coming out. Um, interesting. Okay, the first thing that I'm getting with this, you guys, is I feel like someone thinks that they have romance on the horizon or romance on the table, but something about that is kind of like, mm, mm. hold on a second. Hold the phone on that, like, hold your horses. Something doesn't, yeah, look, okay. Uh-huh, 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 all right. One last card, please, for my Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers. Interestingly enough, though, when I got into this energy, I felt like the message that was going to come through was for some either a man or a masculine energy. And we have none other than the thinking man here. Okay. Um, all right, look, something about this energy is making me feel like Someone th may think they, they have romance right, in, right ahead of them, that it's all good, and yet I feel like that is kind of the recreation of an old toxic cycle. But the reason why it's coming up for you here at this moment in time is so that you can contemplate it. So you can really look at it and be like, is this really the type of caring connection that I want? I feel like maybe especially with the Capricorn side of it, it could be because that's, that's the cardinal energy within the, the cusp. Um, someone may have, have a tendency to kind of rush into a relationship. And this does feel like I'm speaking to a masculine energy. However, I could be speaking to the feminine that's cross-watching for a masculine. And this masculine is on more of the Aquarius fixed side of the situation in which uh, fixed energies don't move 
as fast or not even nearly as fast as a as a as a uh, uh, as a um a cardinal energy rather regardless of whether it's an earth cardinal or not but again take it as it resonates okay but looky here you have door to romance and the thinking man but in between those you do have patience and then you have magician in the mirror caring connections and rest and rejuvenation i really feel like oh and then at the bottom of the deck is adjacent possibilities all right underneath that is sacral chakra underneath that is the third chakra Ooh, okay and underneath that is financial constraints underneath that is the fourth chakra now here's the thing financial constraints in this deck to me feels like a five of pentacles energy so this really may not necessarily be financial constraints in nature this really could just be a lack of worthiness or feelings of inadequacy that keep you in a cycle with a, a, a cycle of attracting people that would continue to reiterate or reinforce that feeling within you so that's why right under financial constraints it's very important that archangel Raphael is here with the fourth chakra okay because what's going on here right now is there's definitely a heart healing a heart reshaping that's going on here and with the thinking man you are either this man or masculine energy that is being challenged to rethink the way that you approach romance and the way that you approach love, or you are a woman or a feminine energy that is, ah, oh, that is kind of like attracting individuals that are way too practical. They're way more practical or um, physically, materially, financially career oriented. And you're being asked to strike a balance between the two of those with patience here, because this patience card can, in my opinion, can represent a little bit of a temperance energy. You're being asked to balance the two, love and material, love and practicality, romance and finance. But then there's also another thing that's coming through here for us, or for us, sure, we're a part of the collective, but for, for you guys is d patience. Don't rush into this situation if you do have something on the horizon or if there is somebody that has caught your attention. At the bottom of the reading, you have the magician in the mirror, okay, which in the ter typical tarot can represent the magician. You also have caring connections and rest and rejuvenation. This rest and rejuvenation can be seen as kind of like a four of swords energy. Caring connections can be the six of pentacles energy. Magician in the mirror can be a magician, the magician energy, okay? Um, you're being asked to really meditate on what it is you truly want out of romance. And if you're the masculine here, or if you're the man here, it doesn't matter, gender doesn't matter. Either you're a physical man that identifies with masculine energy, or you're a woman that identifies more with masculine energy, or at least in terms of what is the situation that's before you at this moment, you tend to act from a more masculine point of view. You are asked to really rest and rejuvenate and meditate on the fact, uh, or meditate on what, true romance really does mean to you or what you have against romance because i feel like there could be someone here that depends more on the practical side of things because there's damage or there's wounding in terms of love or romance for you or for this other person that you may be attracting I, or, or uh connecting to or maybe these people that you uh, that you attract on a regular basis right at the bottom of the deck, looking at the bottom of the deck, we do have adjacent possibilities. There's more to life than just what meets the eye. There's more to love, romance, and the way these things can come to you and the ways that these things can benefit your life than just what you already know. And that's what adjacent possibilities here is speaking to. So then with that, underneath, you have the sacral chakra which is your second chakra your solar plexus chakra which is the third chakra financial constraints and then finally archangel raphael with the fourth chakra there's healing that's happening here in terms of all of this i feel like there are some there's some trauma that is rooted or blockages that are rooted within your sacral your feeling body and your and thus the action that you take your solar plexus and it's all surrounding feelings of inadequacy, lack mentality. And all these angels are here to help you heal this, but especially Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael feels like the one that's really orchestrating the overall major healing aspects of this for you, which is helping you to fully open 
this door to romance for yourself, okay? All right, so let's get into some clarification here. And I want to look at what door to romance has for you. What is, whoops, what is door to romance for my uh, Capricorn Aquarius cuspers here? Last shuffle, okay. So what is door to romance for my Capricorn Aquarius cuspers? Yep. Okay. You have the Ace of Wands as at the bottom of the deck. And then with that, you have Strength, which is the first card that came out. You have the Ten of Swords and you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so what is being helped, what, what we're helping you here in terms of, helping you with here in terms of opening this door to romance is having the strength to put an end to the toxic situations and set boundaries Cut certain people off, 1111. Cut certain people off from your life or cut certain energetic sources from out of your life. Cut those off or cut off energetic vampires. I feel like there is a per whomever this is for, you keep going back to the same types of situations or the same types of energies um, that are fairly, <clears throat> fairly narcissistic because of a sense of inadequacy. Feelings of inadequacy, lack mentality is what spirit is saying. And sh the, the, what we're working on with Georgia Romance is having the strength to cut that off, having the strength to believe in yourself and say no to these manipulative narcissistic energies and say, no, actually I have boundaries and I'm not going to let you walk all over me. I'm not going to let you trample over them. I'm not going to let you cross this boundary. I'm not going to let you manipulate me anymore. Bye, Felicia. Ace of Wands. Okay. So with that said, let's look at patience. And then I want to look at this stuff. But let's look at patience first. What does Spirit want to say? What do we have for patience here? Four of Pentacles. It's going to take some time to really let go of this, to release this completely. All right. This is not something that's necessarily going to happen just overnight, especially if it's something that's really, yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles, okay, as at the bottom of the deck, especially if this is something that is quite strongly wounded or, I'm sorry, rooted, or you've got some serious wounds in terms of all of this. This lack of, ment this lack of, uh, this feeling of inadequacy, the lack of mentality. It's not going to happen. You releasing this is not going to happen overnight. So be patient with yourself, okay? But you are generating a new whatever, new something for yourself, okay? I want to look at this now. Fourth angel, I'm sorry, fourth chakra with Archangel Raphael, financial constraints, which could be seen as the five of pentacles. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. And second chakra, Archangel Ariel. What messages do you have for my Capricorn Aquarius cuspers in terms of this? Yeah, there is more. Ah, the seven of swords with the moon at the bottom of the deck. Okay, there's been deception here. And what I'm feeling like is you've allowed this deception to happen with the moon. It's like you've, it's, it's almost like a two of swords energy, but not really. It's because you've been in this place of feeling inadequate because of past circumstances you haven't really allowed yourself to come out of this is what I'm kind of feeling. But what else, spirit? Overall energy is the 10 of wands. This has been burdensome for a while, but looky here, knight of cups, the hermit, and none other than the Five of Pentacles, okay? This is a heart chakra awakening with the Knight of Cups, but with this hermit energy, it's really about discovering what has been going on within you that has been helping you feel so burdened for so long. The, the, the finding or discovering or rediscovering or reconnecting with the wounds that have, have only pr promoted or only helped influence you to continue carrying 
these burdens or this weight that really is not yours to carry any longer, never was, never should have been, but you did it for a reason and you're learning from it and that's a-okay. And to finally walk away from all of that, eight of cups. Yes? Excellent. So let's close this out with the Moonology deck then for you. For my Capricorn Aquarius cuspers. All right, so what closing guidance do we have for you guys here in terms of this situation? For my Capricorn Aquarius cuspers. Huh. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Five, five, five on the counter. Let's see if we can get one more card. Overall energy is full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Well, there you are, Aquarius. You have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse, and a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. But as always, the first thing that I think of when I see that card come out is the fact that this is a new romantic cycle with yourself. Yeah? Which is going to allow you the strength here to show the world the real you because a new start is coming, um, which is going to in fact bring you a new romantic relationship because you're being authentic to yourself and you're showing the world the real you. And that's really going to help you open this door to romance for the right person to come in and swoop you off your feet. Or maybe you'll be the one doing the swooping. Who knows? It's just a general reading, right? All right, kids, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April, hopefully. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Bye.